So now you guys can see like from an idea, we are now created a BRD. So now BRD is like old school, right? None of the, only few of the projects, they run on waterfall and most of the projects they have embraced agile. So now you will be wondering that like, okay, BRD is all fine, but like how about user stories and features? Because that is what uh, a typical uh, day at work we do in our organization. So for that also I have created some prompts. So what I have to do is like, I'll say that like, I'm a creating a product with the following features. Can you help me write user stories from this information? So now I will take some feature of credit card application Okay, let me take a credit card eligibility criteria. So this is one of the business rule and one of the feature. So I'm just going to paste it here. Credit card eligibility criteria. Can you help me write user stories from this information? So I'm like, now you see uh, from a 5,000 feet level, now I have come to like 1,000 feet level and now I'm making it like more uh, uh, like generic. I'm like clearly asking like, can you help me use the stories for this particular thing? So now let's check the answer. So you see the user stories as a potential credit card applicant. I want to know the eligibility criteria for a credit card so that I can determine if I qualify for the card. So from based on one uh, feature or one epic, can I call credit card eligibility criteria as one of the epic or a feature? I have no clue. So you see, I'm getting ideas for multiple user stories. So you may wonder that like credit card application is something which is like quite uh, everyone knows about it. So that's the reason uh, the chat GPT is able to produce it. No matter most of the features which we work, login, log out, payment, billing, uh, the functionalities are already available in the internet. So most of the data uh, user stories or features the uh, chat GPT can come up with it. I mean, I tried with multiple combinations, multiple features and everything like SSO login, security requirements, non-functional requirements. I tried all the combinations and I was amazed. Chat GPT has data about everything. So now you see, I got around six uh, uh, user stories. So now like I want to like, if needed, I can say that like as a potential credit card applicant, I want to know the eligibility criteria. So now what I'm going to do is, can you write acceptance criteria? For this user story. So I'm making my life. Okay. I guess somebody's scribbling here. I guess Son Raj. Okay. So here you also have the possible acceptance criteria also. So it makes your life quite easier, right? But you cannot completely rely on it. You need to also understand your client and stakeholder requirements and you need to tweak it accordingly. Maybe 50 to 60% of this data can be reused, but rest 40% based on your project requirements, like the business requirements and stakeholder requirements. Cool. So chat, chat GPT has also provided me the acceptance criteria. Can you give me some non-functional requirements? for this user story. See, I'm trying to extract the last juice of chat GPT. So like, so it's thinking from the usability perspective, accessibility perspective. Performance perspective. So you will have to update, okay? Fast load times, uh, you will have to update in your document. What, what do you mean by fast load times? Because fast load time, maybe five seconds will be fast for someone or like 15 seconds will be fast for someone. So it is up to you how you update it. Okay, so you also got the non-functional requirement. Now, what about the use case? So we, we started with user story from the BRD, user story, and then we had the acceptance criteria, non-functional requirements. So now I'm asking, right, can you give me the use case for this? Okay, so all the nine categories, which is there in IABA. So I guess it is taking reference from the IABA uh, uh, non-functional requirements, right? Uh, the four, so in IBA non-functional requirements, you have all these 10 categories. So I guess some it is taking that as a reference and it is populating all the data. So now I'm going to ask like for this, can you create a use case diagram for this user story? So sometimes you can also copy the content. Like if you have already created a user story, you can provide that as an input to the system and system will be able to give you the data. 
So now you see it is creating a use case diagram. So we do have that technical limitations with respect to the diagram and everything, but down the line, uh, those things will be resolved, I believe, in other chat GPT versions. So now you see uh, it is saying that like the potential credit card applicant is the primary actor. And I guess, uh, I mean, you see, right, there's a limitation. It is not able to correctly show us the use case diagram, the actor relationships and everything, but you guys got the point, right? So now uh, that's all about, uh, I mean, ideally a, a business analyst, we primarily, uh, our typical day at work is all about creating user stories, use cases and uh, requirements. Sometimes you can also create a requirement uh, documents also, requ I mean, ideally it, this can also help in creating the functional and non-functional requirements.